Lou! Go away. Tell her I'm going home. Wait up! Hey, at least you managed five minutes. It's more than I did for my dad. What? Well, I completely blew out his funeral. I watched it from the bridge. It's the truth. And was he a pervert too? No. Well, there's a lot of things, but not that now. I couldn't face it, thinking of all the stuff I never said to him, my dad. I didn't trust myself in a church full of people. You know, Aaron will understand if it's too much. I didn't think they'd be talking. I just thought they'd burn him. Well, everyone's entitled to a funeral, even the worst of criminals. I'm not crying for him. It's horrible. I'm crying for how he was up here. You know, my daddy was just going to turn up one day and make everything brilliant. I know. I get it. It's OK to be sad. It's not. Aaron only came here because of me, and I was going to think I'm pathetic. No, he just wants you to get through this how you need to. You can't predict how you're going to feel. Why are you being all nice? I thought you hated me. <laughs> How could I hate you? You're styling out of that hoodie like a pro, eh? Plus the fact you're the most important thing to Aaron right now, in case you haven't noticed. So it'd make things a whole lot easier if me and you could be mates. What do you reckon? Can we talk to each other without fighting? Yeah, OK. You go. I'll be back in a minute. You're not going to do a runner on me, are you? No, I just don't want my eyes to look red. Ryan, it's Liv. Um, deal's off, OK? Forget the money. And don't go to the police either. Let me know when you get this. <laughs> 